Hi everyone, welcome to my class, the Olusta class. In today's class, we want to look at how to find the value of m and n from this question. We have 2 raised to power m minus 2 raised to power n is equal to 4080, that is 4080. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified whenever I post new video. Solution. Solution, we have 2 raised to the power m minus 2 raised to the power n is equal to 4080. Then, we are looking for the integer of m and n. Then, this is 2 raised to the power m and this is 2 raised to the power minus n. This implies that we have 2 raised to the power n is greater than 2 raised to the power n. Also, also, m is greater than n. Therefore, m is equal to n plus k where k yes any integer because we are having 2 raised to the power m 2 raised to the power m minus 2 raised to the power n and this 2 raised to the power m is greater than 2 raised to the power n this is minus 2 and this is positive so we have 2 raised to the power m here is 2 raised to the power m here is greater than 2 raised to the power n. Then m is also greater than n. Then we now said let m is equal to n plus k. That is where k is any integer. This implies that anywhere you see m, you put n plus k there. We have this can be right that 2 raised to the power. This is m. We put n plus k there. N plus k minus 2 raised to the power n is equal to 4080. Yes. Then 2 raised to the power n plus k can also be write as 2 raised to the power n dot 2 raised to the power k, that is multiplied by 2 raised to the power k, minus 2 raised to the power n is equal to 4080. I hope you are getting it. Therefore, we have 2 raised to the power n here and 2 raised to the power n here. You can factor 2 raised to the power n out. We have this can be right as 2 raised to the power n into 2 raised to the power k minus 1 is equal to 4080. But this 4080 can be expressed as, let's see, 4080. Let's say 2, 2 here, we have 2 here, that is 2, 0, 4, 0. There 2 goes, we have 1, 0. 2, 0, 2 here, 5, 0, 1, 0, then 2 here, 2, 55, then, which is called to 2 raised to the power 4, dot 2, 55. Then, this can be rewrite as, we have 2 raised to the power n into 2 raised to the power k, minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 dot 255. 255. I hope you understand. From here, 
we have 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power k minus 1. It's equal to 4, 0, is 0. Then we want to express it too. Let's factor this. We have 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power k minus 1. It's equal to 2 raised to power 4. Then multiply by 255. Then if you say 2 raised to power 4, if you multiply it by this 255, you are going to get 4080. Then how do we get 2 raised to power 4? Multiply by 255. We have 2 goes in 4080. Then it will give you 2040. 2 goes in 2040. It will give you 1020. 2 goes in 1020. It will give you 5010. 2 goes in 5010. You have 255 and 2 cannot go again. So we have 2 raised to power 4. Multiply by 255. Then let's proceed. This is even from here now this is even and this is odd this is even and this is odd then this can be expressed that we have 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 raised to power 4 also 2 raised to power k minus 1 is equal to 255. You can see that it's very simple. Then 2 raised to power n is equal to 4. It's equal to 2 raised to power 4. Then they have the same base. n will be equal to what? 4. We've gotten the value of n. From 2 raised to power n is equal to 2 raised to power 4. We have, since they have the same base, you cancel this, these two cancel to then n is equal to 4. We've known the value of our n to be equal to 4. Let's look for the value of k from this place. Let's solve for k. Let's solve for k. Recall that 2 raised to power k Minus 1 is equal to 255. Then this implies that 2 raised to power k is equal to 255 plus 1. Then 2 raised to power k will be equal to 256. And 256 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 8. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to power k is equal to 2 raised to power 8. If we check this one, we cancel this. k k will be equal to 8. We've known the value of k and the value of our n. We say n is equal to 4 and k is equal to 8. Then what do we do next? But recall that m is equal to n plus k. And we've known the value of n, we've also known the value of our k. Therefore, therefore, m is equal to our n is 4 and our k is 8 plus 8 m is equal to 12 therefore therefore our m is equal to 12 n is equal to 4 answer thank you please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe please comment and subscribe thank you don't forget to like the video comment on the video share the video and subscribe please subscribe thank you